Brushing is important. However, flossing is extremely important. Flossing is a way that you can remove plaque in between the teeth. These are areas that you really can't reach when you brush. So flossing is extremely important. And of course, going in to see your dentist every six months is extremely important. Uh, they could catch uh, any decay that may be developing in between teeth or on surfaces that we just can't see by taking x-rays. So, so six month checkups are really, really important. Some of the early warning signs could include hot or cold sensitivity. So if you drink something, something cold, some cold juice or something icy, uh, you may have a little, little sensitivity there. Or something hot, like hot tea or coffee, uh, you have some sensitivity. Uh, also biting pain, if you're biting down, you know, occasionally that can indicate that there may be a problem that's taking place as well. Um, if it gets more advanced, then sometimes people may experience pain that drops or wakes them up in the middle of the night. Some, pa some patients may uh, describe their pain that, that radiates back by their ear. It's a shooting pain. Um, another thing that's interesting about dental pain is that you can have a tooth in the upper arch, but it can refer the pain and make you feel like it's coming from a lower tooth, or vice versa. Uh, the role that genetics plays with teeth is pretty interesting. Uh, one thing that I can say about genetics is that um, people can have saliva that can be acidic or it can be more on the basic side. And what happens is if you have saliva that tends to be more on the acidic side, you may develop, may be prone to developing more decay. If you have saliva that may be a little bit more on the basic side, then it's just the opposite. You probably won't get a whole lot of decay, but you may be prone to getting gum disease more, or building up more plaque. We're finding out a number of different things about dental disease. Um, we're finding out that dental disease can be related to um, diabetes. It can also be related to heart disease. Um, however, if a, if a root canal infection, when we're talking about root canal infections affecting the heart or other parts of the body or a root canal infection spreading to other parts of the body, um, that hasn't been scientifically proven. We do work with the patient's general dentist to prevent further root canal work by ensuring that they get back to their general dentist for their regular checkups, their cleanings, uh, any restorations that they need to have done, we try to make sure they get back to their general dentist to have those restorations done. Um, also, uh, once they come in for a root canal, we stress the importance of them having that tooth restored with the crown um, and make sure they get a good seal on that tooth to prevent any saliva from getting in and contaminating or recontaminating that root canal system. 